Tesla officially started selling to the European market in 2013. Since then, their sales numbers have been increasing steadily. But now it seems that they've reached an inflection point. When Tesla announced that it was imposing significant price cuts on its vehicles, it was obvious that the automaker was trying to stay ahead of the competition. But it's working better than planned, and Tesla is taking over in Europe, reaching record sales in the month of January. Join us as we look into how Tesla is taking over Europe and what this means for other legacy automakers. Before we get into the details, it's important to understand a few things about the European EV market. Despite the overall automotive market falling in 2022 by 4% compared to 2021, Europe's passenger plug-in electric car market experienced a momentous December with a whopping 413,500 registrations, a 46% surge over the previous month of November, which had already beaten the December 2020 record of 282,000 units. This impressive surge represents a 25% share of battery and plug-in hybrid vehicles sold across Europe in 2022, a massive jump from 2021's 19% share, an even more significant move from the 11% of 2020, and a world away from the 3.6% share of sales back in 2019. These numbers mean that mass market acceptance of electric cars is here, and we can expect a market share in 2023 of 30% or more. According to Felipe Munoz, global analyst at JATO Dynamics, the rapid growth in demand for EVs is the consequence of continued government support through incentives and a shift in consumer sentiment thanks to increasing awareness around the available product offering. Tesla has spearheaded this revolution with the Tesla Model Y, emerging as the most popular electric vehicle in Europe, according to the latest registrations data from JATO Dynamics. In 2022, Tesla made a remarkable mark on the European EV market as two of its vehicles clinched the first and second spots in terms of sales. The best-selling EV was the Tesla Model Y SUV with 137,819 sales, easily outpacing the second best-seller, the Tesla Model 3 sedan, with 92,150 sales. The Model Y was the best-selling car overall in Norway and Switzerland. The month of December saw an unprecedented number of deliveries for a single EV model in Europe, with the 2022 model reaching an all-time high of 32,442. This performance allowed it to be the best-selling car in the overall market for the month. Furthermore, it was also the top model in September and November, making it the market leader for three out of the last four months. It's too soon to tell if the mid-size crossover can be the best seller in 2023. And this is because while the Tesla Model Y has triumphed in this category during 2022, there have been inconsistencies in its sales performance. Proof of that is that despite those three wins, the Model Y was only number 13 in the whole year. Unlike the Model 3's focus on the bigger European countries, the crossover's main markets are more scattered. The UK received the majority of the deliveries with 10,664, but Germany, Norway, France, the Netherlands, and Sweden also had significant numbers, with 7,382, 4,524, 2,493, 2,296, and 1,091 units, respectively. Tesla continues its dominance, with the Model 3 taking second place for the month of December. In December of 2022, Tesla's sedan saw its highest number of deliveries, with 20,335. However, the Model 3 sales dropped 23% compared to the previous year, largely due to the emergence of the Model Y. To combat the declining sales, the company has implemented price drops, and now we expect to see a significant surge in the sale of this vehicle. In December, the sedan was mainly sold in Europe's three main EV markets, the UK with 5,700 units, Germany with 9,566 units, and France with 2,671 units. Switzerland was the fourth biggest market with 330 units sold. It's expected that the Model 3 will remain in the top three throughout 2023, but Volkswagen's VW ID.4 and ID.3 will be more competitive, and the Fiat 500e will also be a force to be reckoned with. This must be worrying for other European automakers in Europe, especially because Tesla is already beating them in the US markets. But in the end, it can also serve as a wake-up call to those legacy automakers to start producing more electric vehicles and also offer competitive pricing. 
The ID.4 is the star of the Volkswagen Group and it closed the month off strongly with 13,685 registrations, coming in third behind the two Tesla models. This is the highest number of registrations the crossover has ever received in Europe and it's the first time it's broken into the five-digit score. Production constraints have been overcome, with the US allocation now being produced domestically and the Emden plant ramping up. Volkswagen wishes to get an average of 10,000 units per month to stay relevant, and five-digit performances in Europe are needed to add to the five-digit-ish Chinese scores. This would result in between 200,000 and 300,000 deliveries in 2023. In December, the Volkswagen EV had its best results in Germany, selling 5,193 units. It also sold 2,075 in Norway, 1,721 in Sweden, and 752 in the Netherlands. The Volkswagen ID.4 achieved 67,590 registrations in 2021, a 23% increase from the previous year. However, this growth was partially offset by a decrease in registrations from the ID.3, which took fifth place with 53,015 registrations. Tesla saw an even larger 38% increase in volume, overtaking Stellantis to secure the second spot in the EV ranking by OEM. In 2022, Volkswagen Group maintained the top spot in the BEV market, selling 349,200 units and having a market share of 22.4%. This was mainly due to robust demand for their electric SUV and the Cupra born. However, VW is unable to increase its market share because of the ID.3's weak performance and the discontinuation of the E-Up. That year, Volkswagen lost market share to Tesla, Stellantis, BMW Group, Geely Group and several Chinese automakers. In spite of the 35% decrease in the Model 3's registrations, the most popular BEV in Europe in 2021, Tesla was still able to post a 38% volume growth, thus overtaking Stellantis to secure the second place in the BEV ranking by OEM. Tesla's successful performance was due to the fact that the Model Y held the number one place in the rankings by model in nine European markets, while the Model 3 was the leader in three. Geely and some Chinese carmakers saw their EV registrations more than double in 2021. Polestar 2, Volvo XC40, and Volvo C40 were some of the major drivers of Geely's growth while MG accounted for 80% of the total new vehicle registrations from Chinese OEMs, which is around 49,200 units, an increase of 111% compared to the previous year. After those price cuts by Tesla, the Model Y will likely maintain its crown in 2023 with an even higher score than in 2022. However, the Model 3's number two position could be at risk in the coming year. Not only will the Model 3 need to find a way to stop the recent sales decline, but it will also have to face the challenge of the Volkswagen ID.4, which is targeting a sales figure of over 100,000 by the end of 2023. If it does not succeed, even the VW ID.3 and Fiat 500e could overtake the Tesla sedan. A significant shock occurred in the passenger vehicle brand ranking during the race's latter stages. Tesla, which is still in fourth place in October, raced to the top spot and won the prize for best-selling brand in 2022. Tesla rose to 9% in just one month, beating BMW and Mercedes after increasing its share by 0.9% in December. In just one month, it went from third to first place. Volkswagen also benefited from a strong end of the year with an 8.4% share, up from 8%. This helped it climb one position to third. Tesla may have taken the lead, but it's clear that 2023 will be a battle between the two. It should be an exciting race, so grab the popcorn. In contrast, a rising Volvo with a 5.3% growth, up from 5.1%, outperformed Peugeot and finished the year in seventh place. Also, Audi benefited from Kia's poor month and finished the year in fifth place. So what do you think about all this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you've watched until now, thank you very much. Please, consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.